Today we're going to talk about the basic procedure of diagnosing an electrical problem. Um, sometimes something in your car won't work and you need to determine why. And in most cases it's either an electrical supply problem of some kind or the component itself doesn't work. So the component itself we refer to as an electrical load. So a light bulb, the part of a circuit that's supposed to do the work of making light is a load. A motor could be another load as well. So one of the first steps that you'll do in these circumstances is actually go to the load and find out whether you've got power there. In some cases you'll check the fuses first, but it'll depend on the accessibility of the load. In this case the load is pretty easy to get at, so we're going to check that first. So what we'll do is we'll take a typical automotive test light and we'll hook it in parallel with the load to determine if there is the presence of both battery, power, and ground. So in this case, I can see where the wires come in and a, and a light circuit like this is pretty simple. So we'll first take and hook it up, the ground lead on one side and the test light on the other and it won't make our test light light up so that's an indication that there's something missing. So then we need to determine what it is that's missing. And in this case I have um, a tool that is hooked up to the battery directly so we can determine if we have power or if we have ground. In this case I hook up the ground connection and the green light and tone indicates that we do have ground on the ground wire. Um, yet when we go to the positive side where it should uh, make a different tone and light up red, uh, it still shows a ground. So that's an indication that we do not have bot uh, battery positive making it to the load itself. So we need to uh, check upstream. In this case, we need to check the fuses. Our next step in the process is actually to check the fuses in the car. And so I'll remove the top of the fuse cover uh, to gain access to the fuses inside. And I'll demonstrate, in this case, this type of a fuse has two little test ports where we can check and see what we have for a connection. And then we've gone this one, we're showing 12 volts on one side and 12 volts on the other, and that's an indication of a good fuse. When we check the fuse for the suspect circuit, um, we find in this case we check one side and we should still show the battery positive. The other side of the same fuse is showing a ground. And this is an indication that what we have is a bad fuse. So if we remove that fuse and we take a look at it, we can see that there is actually a missing gap of fuse. A fuse is designed to melt uh, when too much current flows in a circuit and that appears to be what's happened here. So in this case, we'll get another fuse and reinsert it and check. We now have battery positive on both sides of it and uh, the uh, trunk light is, is returned to working. Uh, but that's not actually the end of the story. Fuses don't blow for no reason. What we have here is an intermittent short, but that's for another video.